Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, the Daily Three with Michael and David. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good. Really good. We're uh, 7.30, so I'm three hours into my day already. So am I. It's been pretty good. I know. You woke up early this morning. I was actually really excited to see you this morning. Oh, were you? What? You're awake? I was wondering. I was I was up because I, I don't know why. I, I don't set an alarm anymore. Okay. Um. So I just woke up and I was like, well, it's time to get up. And then I heard you and I was like, I wonder what time it is. Yeah. Like if it was three, I would have gone back to bed. But uh, it was 4.30 and I was like, well, I'm up. Yeah. And then I was I was worried though. I was like, oh, I hope Mike doesn't feel like I'm intruding on his no. his day or Not his space. All. I was like, sweet, let's get it started, man. It was a I had a great morning. I mean, just so did I. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So daily three. The daily three. What were your daily three from yesterday and how'd they go? What'd you learn? Yeah. So from yesterday I had uh to do my weekly review, to mm-hmm. read a coaching book. And to email some folks for coaching, set up more coaching. Nice. So uh, in reverse order, I emailed people for coaching. I got that done. You did it. Yeah, I said you it. did it. Did my... Uh, Put that on the to-done list. To-done list. Uh, to-done list. Check out... Uh, That's our new app, to-done-list.com. Yeah, to-done list. It's uh, where you write things that you've gotten done. <laughs> uh I still, that's, that's copyright David Roos, uh, to done, <laughs> to done list. To done list. Um, so that was good. Got email sent out. Uh, what else? I read, I don't know, I spent two hours in a coaching book. Okay. So I was trying to get like a good grasp of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to go back through. So I didn't get to like read it thoroughly. I have a good overview of like what the book's talking about and of kind of their approach. I do want to go back in and and uh, and read it some more though, but that was helpful. Nice. So yeah, they they kind of like their way. They they have like they consider their approach a holistic approach to coaching that transforms leaders and helps them connect to God's mission by helping them clarify their calling, cultivate character, create community, and connect with culture. Mm-hmm. So, so obviously written cultivate, by pastors. Clarify, connect. <laughs> Use some see. of those fun six C words. So hip, yeah, uh, hot words. Yeah, I don't know. Cult. I mean, it's it's just I'm it's just a different way to like categorize kind of different things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. In, in in many ways, coaching is they're trying to just help coaches think through and like not miss, I guess, a part of something. But mm-hmm. just I don't know. So that was good, and then uh, uh, and then I did part of my weekly review. Nice. So, yeah. And I did a bunch of hope work yesterday. How did the part you did? How did that go? I, well, I didn't I didn't create weekly goals last week. So I, Ooh. for part of me, I was like, How, how'd your weekly goals go? And I thought, <laughs> great or horrible, depending on how you look at it, because I didn't have any. So, yeah. uh, I mean, zero out of zero. That's 100%, I yeah. think. Mathematically? Is or that is that works? 0%? I think it's zero. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Dang it. Shoot. So that was mine. Uh, All right. You failed. What I learned. Um, what did I learn? Uh, oh, this is what I something I learned. I thought about yesterday. I'm going to start doing is mm-hmm. I'm going to start planning. I'm. It's not going to be my daily three, but it's going to be my daily three and my one slump task. So like oh a slump this is a, a curveball what explain so when I'm in the trough and yeah. low on energy yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be intentional with that time and choose what I do oh yeah and so have that not be one of my oh. daily three but just be like still something I think that's something that's a part of my response in, in a sphere of my responsibility yeah um, so yesterday what I did with that was um, was the sermon editing for hope. And, Mm -hmm. and that, and that literally I'm, but I, so I spent longer than I, than I probably, I spent long, I went out of the trough. I started when I was, when I felt that coming on, I was like, time to, time to work on this. Cause it doesn't require that much thought. It just kind of is like, I have to do it. Um, Yeah. It doesn't create, like, it doesn't require high engaged mental energy. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, Like I have a workflow that I go through and that I follow. It just takes time. It's just time consuming to transfer the files, to edit, to compose. And so, but that took, so that took like four and a half hours yesterday. Um, 
Yeah, so and it's and it uploaded last night. So that wasn't like including uploading. It was just uploading your sleep, man. Way to be productive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm uploading right now. So, but so I haven't figured out what I'm going to do today during the trough. But mm. I think I'm going to start adding that the daily three in the trough. Daily three in the trough. Yeah, slump task. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, what about you? How how did daily three go yesterday? What'd you learn? Yeah, so. Uh, my daily three yesterday, one was to do my weekly review. And the reason for that was it would will bring clarity to my goals mm-hmm. as far as like actually making them happen this week and like defining what it is I need to do or have gotten done this week to move me towards those qu- quarterly or annual goals. Um, the second one was to finish the under the stairs, which by that I meant get drywall ready. And so there's some rough and electrical and some more foam I need to do. And then the third one was to make an income tracking spreadsheet. Mm. So I sort of, uh, I did that first. I did that in the morning. I think by the time we recorded yesterday, I already had that done. Yeah. I ended up tweaking that a little bit more, finishing that off, kind of like. Good job. Looking at it. So that's good. Um, And then I did my weekly review. I finished that this morning though. So I kind of did, I did like half of it. Cheated a little bit. Yeah, I did. So I I was (laughs) like. It doesn't matter. There's no rules. I always like go through the ones that are like easy to do. And then there's a couple where I'm like, oh, I actually have to go find that document and pull it out and review it and mm-hmm. look at it and read at it and like think about this and so sometimes i just don't want to do that sure so i didn't um and i did not touch under the stairs okay at all i sort of really what'd you do instead yeah nothing well i mean tom- <laughs> yesterday morning you uh <laughs> yeah yesterday i went in mode before it got hot um it was still hot though it was like 80 i i, I, th- I was laughing to myself i was like yeah. it was like it was supposed to get to 100 yesterday by the time i quit mowing it was like 96 Oh, it did get to um, 100. Definitely. Yeah, yep. So, and that's just like straight, t- I don't know what it was, like heat index with humidity or whatever. It was but sick. Yeah. So I was mowing all morning and then. Well, you were blowing leaves off in the, before that too. Yeah. I did that first. I got up on the roof before it got too hot, blew all the leaves out of the gutters because it was supposed to rain. And that was a, yeah, and just blew off all the good the job. and the drive away. And we have these trees here. Uh, they're maple trees. They got the. Their seeds are just everywhere. The spinners, right? Yeah. It's those they go, the twirly ones. The little helicopter things that mm-hmm. fly out of the sky. It was kind of cool when I was blowing them out of the gutters because then they'd go and they'd fall and I'm like, it literally looks like it's snowing. <laughs> There's just so many of them. But so that was kind of neat. But yeah, so I did that mm-hmm. and then went in mode. And it was interesting. Like, I wasn't sure how to think about that because I didn't um, I didn't define that as my day, one of my daily three, but I knew I had to do it yesterday. But it was important. Ye- maybe or was it urgent i don't know i'm not sure i feel and like it was kind of important i think it's 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 one of those things where it's like i don't know if you miss mowing the lawn one week yeah is yeah. it really not well the- it does make a difference because the one property i'm mowing every other week because it's vanging and no one's there and that was a little bit of a hay field to cut through <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> but i you know i i don't know I and mean, i think it's one of those things where it's like when i'm thinking about if I think about my daily three as these are the three things I'm going to do today that are going to move me towards achieving that weekly goal mm-hmm. or those weekly three, which are going to move me towards this quarterly or annual mowing didn't really seem to fit. Hmm. Like it seemed more like a to-do list item or a task rather than like a, but it was something that took up a huge chunk of time. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, if I were approaching the daily three, I think project based, which I've, we've talked about this before, yeah. I tend to flip back and forth. I don't know why. Just trying stuff, right? Always trying to improve the system, innovate, figure out what works, mm. figure out what doesn't, figure out why, that sort of thing. I probably would have put mowing on there because I knew like this is going to take like six hours of my day, mm. five, six hours of my day. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But basically, I was so tired when I got done with all that and it was so hot. Instead of going and working on the basement stuff, I decided I'm going to edit video. Because I am, I think tired that was smart. Because I think you would have gotten heat and, exhaustion if you would have like worked in that small space. I mean, inside in the AC, I don't think would have been too bad. But I mean, I was just tired, so I just know like. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was still outside, right? Working yeah, but sweating. it's yeah. I don't know. You so see. I don't think it would have. I was worried about Mike yesterday. Well, thanks for your concern. Yeah, <laughs> I was fine. I'm okay. You know what "fine" stands for? Freaked out, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Oh, okay. I think that's a quote from the Italian job. Okay. It's a movie. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. I similarly did something yesterday where I decided 
this would be a this wasn't on my radar something to do today i mean but it wasn't really a trophic i mean it would be a trophic activity if it was not like 120 heat index outside during the trough time which is in the afternoon but what would have been a trough activity i think your your mowing would have been a trough activity just like a mindless type of like it could be which is why it probably makes sense for me to do it in the afternoons but but i spent kind of the best part of my day on it because i knew it was going to get really hot. You had to. Yeah. You had to. I'm, uh, so you weren't dying. Right. So it was kind of this like. Unless of... we could figure out a way to have like a refrigerated IV drip going into you as you mow. So you just mm. get those constant fluids of electrolytes. and. There we go. Your wife is a nurse. She could do the IV. We could figure this out. Yeah. She could just get a bag of saline and. Just a mold. I could like weld a tall pole. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Hang it onto the mower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh and you put it in one of those like uh like refrigerated lunchbox bags or something like that and yeah, yeah. oh that's funny or a double insulated uh double stainless steel double insulated water bottle so it just keeps it ice cold there we go like and, this but bigger yeah and so you're just like oh man i feel great <laughs> got sunscreen on this is yeah or it'd be really easy on those mowers, you know, like the big ones, the commercial zero turn ones that have the bar up above. Oh, yeah. You know, kind of like that. I don't know what they call that. I like wonder if that's head a head rack or whatever. You could just put one on both sides. I wonder if that's an attachment. Double dripping. Yeah. Or anyway. we just get one of those beer helmets. That has... <laughs> yeah. IV helmet. And get your IV helmet here, folks. Yep. That's you heard it here first. The daily three. <laughs> Coming up with ridiculous you, ideas every day. If you create it, just, you know, give 10% of your proceeds to us and we'll be thankful. Yeah. Um, Anything. Where were we? A daily three. What you do yesterday? What you learn? And then wh- oh, yeah. what are your daily three for today? Or if if anything else you learned? Yeah. So I, I don't know. Likewise, I found editing because there's just a process. And now I have a, a flow down where it's, I mean, it's like you said, it just takes time. So it's a thing where it's like I can kind of mindlessly do it. Mm. Um, I mean, not completely mindlessly, but like I don't have to be. It doesn't take that high mental energy or capacity that some of the other things do. So that's why I did that the rest of the afternoon. Are you I still? Think that was a good trough task to do. Are you still matching up the uh, audio manually? On some of them, I have to. Some of them, I noticed. Don't. I think because some auto syncs, some doesn't. I, th- I think some of the auto syncs of the first ones on YouTube. <laughs> are Not that great <laughs> yeah yeah yep. i was like i realized that i feel like i'm like uh, a half a second behind there kind of but yeah whatever and i think hey. with the camera angle sometimes it's more difficult to tell for you because you're like behind the mic so you uh, can't see your face moving as much that's so usually, part of the plan usually i watch when i talk because i'm off to the side and then you can see my mouth moving that makes and then sense that's where you can tell oh yeah that's i off. love it so so uh, this is what you get with the daily three we're just shipping it whether it's good or or <laughs> uh completely synced or not or whether we're learning improving the process i mean but i'm i mean you I'm heard the third episode that was just that was because i failed on the audio and <laughs> yes we ended up taking the cam camera audio which mm-hmm. is not good at all no using that. <laughs> all right but yeah it's good so improving the process so i did that yesterday nice and then today uh my daily three are video planning so i actually want to plan videos and make a shot list um and not just make a shot list but actually plan what do i want to teach how do i want to i think i've i've felt like i've been so in a time crunch on this basement remodel Mm -hmm. that i've been forgetting like it it's more important to go slow and make quality content Mm -hmm. um for people so that they can like clearly learn and like yeah 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 and so i i just realized like some stuff i'm like Otherwise, you'll just become the old man on YouTube who doesn't know how to focus a camera. <laughs> and, and the whole time, you're just like, I have no idea what I'm looking at in your car because you're, yeah. you're focused on the oil pan and nothing else. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like, man, if that's all it takes to be a star on YouTube. It's like, wow, that would have been a great B-roll segment. But yeah. You literally are shooting the whole video like this. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me put on the blur filter here and so, uh, so you don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think I just want to sit down and really define a goal mm-hmm. for each video. Like, what do I want the viewer to walk away having? Like, how do I, what do I want them to learn? And what do I want, how do I want them to be encouraged? Hmm. And just really asking those questions and defining them and sticking to kind of like one... Um, and what do you want them to do? 
yeah that too um and but have like sticking to a a more divided up i think workflow and what i mean by that is like not trying to cram too much into a single video because hmm. sometimes i realize i'm doing that of like oh when really what i could do is i could take the time to explain basic electrical safety once then every electrical video i do after that mm-hmm. i could say hey if you aren't familiar with this and i could reference that video yes point them to that is so smart instead of having like each one be 10 minutes then it's like if i can save that two minutes of safety stuff for like which is important right but I can put that in another video and that makes the rest of my videos maybe like, I don't know, six, eight minutes instead. Yes. It just makes it, I think it, it allows somebody to choose what content they want to consume and based on like what is most relevant to them mm-hmm. and like where their skill level is at. So it kind of allows them to like self-select of like, what do I need to know and only look for that information. Yeah. I yeah. It, so I think that's like a way to, in some ways, respect your viewer and assume yeah. that they're intelligent and can decide. And a way to serve them better, I think, ultimately. And if they electrocute themselves, well, that's not your fault. <laughs> Electricity can kill you. Yeah. Don't go sticking your tongue on or anything. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's, um, a good, that's a good general principle for life. Just It's usually best not to stick your tongue on random things. Yeah. Ele- electrical stuff. You know, flagpoles and freezing cold weather. Yeah, in the winter, bad, bad. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what's what else is on your uh, daily three? <laughs> yeah, so uh, the one I didn't get done yesterday, I finished the basements, on, finish under the stairs. So get that ready, get that done, and then the third one is to um, sort of move the ball down the field a little bit on the property preservation company. Hmm. So I should probably be more specific as to what what exactly I want to do or how exactly I want to do that. I think by the end of the day, I want to choose a name and file. The state of Minnesota. Okay. Uh, LLC. Okay. Yeah. That's just, I was going to ask you. I was like, what is it? What do you mean by that? And like, what is that? What do you think that looks like yeah. moving it down the field? But yeah. So if you have a name and there's a... that, and then like five or six emails I'm going to try to reply to. Um, so, so those are, hmm. yeah, I think that would be a good. Yeah. I was going to ask you. To so at the end of the day or tomorrow, mm-hmm. if you have chosen a name, filed the LLC and sent yep. those five or six emails, will you feel like you've moved the ball down the field for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Would you do anything else anything to 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 make that feeling more full? I think only if I had more time. Okay. Like if I the if the other two things, if I get those done fairly quickly, mm-hmm. and then still have more time, I could use it on that. Well, congratulations! You have a full twelve hours ahead of you. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Um. Cool. How about you? What are your daily three today? Uh, one uh, is to, I don't have nothing written down. Uh, one <laughs> we'll is, do it live. We'll do it live. One is to write my weekly goals because mm-hmm. I didn't do that yesterday. All right. Um, another one is to spend um, several hours this morning uh, working on the gospel commentary. I just want to start doing, I, I don't want to forget that. And I want to start doing little by little each day. Yeah. Um, and then the third one will be working on the Grace Lead website. And finishing the media queries. The media queries. For the typography stuff. So, Dang. yeah. What left do you have to do on that? <sighs> I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> but it's I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. I'm getting close. Okay. And then for my trough, my trough work, um, I think I'm going to spend trough work. I think it's going to be about two hours. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be, uh, that's going to be organizing um, old sermon material for hope. Nice. So yeah, a guy sent an email and couldn't access some of them. And that's because something we switched podcast hosts and Mm. I need to update some of the media files. So some of like the really old ones from a while back. Yeah. 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 So I'm it's before, yeah, before I uh, depart from hope, which I don't know when that will be sometime this year, Mm -hmm. probably in the winter. Um, my goal is to have that all organized and, just like as best, yeah, as best yeah. organized as I can have it for someone. Awesome. So, yeah, that's my daily three. Way to leave it better than you found it. Yeah, man, that's that's one of my goals with with any with any place that I that I work. Yeah. I want to like, yeah, I want to have to have made a positive impact on the mm-hmm. place and like yeah, and left it better than I found it. Nice. And so and yeah, so and I think I will have done that when I when I leave hope. 
just have made some positive improvements there, help them. And yeah. So good. I think, um, and my boss would agree. We've talked about this. Okay. Where I've like, I've told him like, this has been my goal. And that's good. So yeah. you're not on two different wavelengths. No, like, I don't know. You didn't do anything, man. Yeah. You're like, I did all the, cool. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. That's a, uh, I think a very, like, there's something about doing that too, that in a, uh, whether it's over the course of a long career or over a project or just over the course of like a single job, there's something that's, I think, deeply satisfying about like being able to leave and like knowing that you have accomplished that. Yeah. That I've added value to the organization. I think that's how I phrased it. Like I wanted to add value to this, yeah, to this church that I was a part of working there. And I, and through my roles as a web coordinator, I, I have so good. Yeah. All right, folks. All right. This has been another episode of The Daily Three. Thanks for tuning in. Write it down. Make it happen. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. This is episode 20. 20. 20 days, man. Do you know what else takes 20 days? No. Nope. What? I don't think I know either. Maybe peas. Peas may, might take 20 days. Peas? Four days.